revolutionary delivery system of potent keratin growth factor. Some gel that makes your hair grow. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11. And today I'm going to be showing you something quite interesting, something that I haven't tried in a while but at the same time is new to me and you'll see what I mean in a minute. But just going back to last week's video guys, I'm gonna be doing a part two of the Q&A. So just keep your questions coming guys. You guys are so hilarious, the comments that you make. I love the fact that you love supporting me guys and I'm so happy that you're here for me guys. So anyway, without further ado, let me introduce the product. Now I know this product was canceled for a lot of people, but I don't like to conform. Yes, I am a non-conformist. So <laughs> I will be using Eco Style today. So as I said, this is an old product for me, but a new one because it's KGF. And that stands for Keratin Growth Factor. Can you see that? Keratin Growth Factor. It says it has a hold of 10 and it's alcohol free. It says it promotes healthier. No, it doesn't say that. It says it promotes thicker, fuller hair. If you are unaware guys of what keratin is, it's what our hair is made up of. It's a type of protein. We believe that if you do put protein in your hair, it will help the fullness, the thickness and growth. Eco Style KGF is an ultra luxe gel with ingredients that are clinically proven, okay, to thicken and restore your hair. Now I think the reason why they can say that it's clinically proven because it contains keratin and obviously keratin has been clinically proven. So that's why they can use those words little loophole around there a revolutionary delivery system of potent keratin growth factor let me just read that again a revolutionary delivery system sounds like something i want to put on my hair okay so how i would word that is some gel that makes your hair grow so then it says eco style kgf will provide both exceptional style and full-bodied hair okay Keratin growth factor thickens the hair shaft, providing additional nourishment and vitality. So then the direction state, apply to dry or wet hair, work desired amount through hair and style. Right, so this was £5.99 for this jar. It's a bit pricey because the normal ones, and I say normal ones, i.e. just a regular eco style uh, olive oil, that's about £2, £2-£3 for this jar. And I like the flip lid. It smells, mmm. It smells like one of their gels already. It looks rather glittery. Can you see that, guys? Typical texture of an eco style gel. I feel like I haven't done one of these wash and goes for ages, about a year and a bit ago. Just using eco style gel, but I'm kind of excited to try this. But anyway, let's just get on with this review, guys. Obviously, I can't tell you if it's gonna make my hair grow after the initial trying but what we want to do is just see how this wash and go turns out oh by the way guys i'm not using a leave-in because i just want to see how this product works by itself as i usually do when i get a new product Okay guys, just so I don't bore you, as you can see this is what I've got so far. This is going to be a long application, so I'm going to do the rest of my hair off camera. I think you get the drift of what I'm doing and I'm just going to do this all throughout. I'll come back to you once it's fully applied. And guys, if my hair is looking a tad shorter to you, it's because I recently dusted my ends because 
they were just looking a bit ratty. They weren't as bad as they usually are though because applying the hair grease, I, I didn't really have much fairy knots, but I think putting my hair in single braids, I wasn't really moisturizing my ends as I should have. But anyway, let me just go continue this off camera and I'll be back. Right, so guys, this is the gel fully applied. Um, I'm really, really liking it at the moment. But this is why I didn't finish my hair on camera, guys, because it took forever. And this is another reason why I haven't done this style with the gel for a while, because I shingled my hair. But I just want to get the full amount of product on my hair. And from that, this is the result of the jar. I've used half the jar. So going by how it feels, I'm really impressed because the last couple of gels that Eco have come out with, the gold one, the flaxseed one, mm -mm. Mm -mm, I didn't like it. They were too runny and watery for my hair and on top of that, they didn't um, they didn't hold my hair very well, but already this reminds me, it's drying nicely. Already this reminds me of the Eco style olive oil, so, but it doesn't feel as tacky. So I need to set my hair, or what's the word? Seal my hair, seal my hair. And I can't do it with a hair grease because it's just gonna be too much. My hair's gonna be weighed down, sticky, it's gonna take forever to dry. So I'm going to go in with my Jehation is the brand. I've used this before and it's black cast oil, extra dark. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in my hand and seal my ends. And then throughout uh, the week with this style, I'm just gonna oil my scalp with this because it's a good little applicator. But I'm just gonna seal my ends, not the rest of my hair because then it will become too weighed down. But even though my hair holds the curl nicely, the ends tend to get dry, I suppose, because they're rubbing on my clothes. This is my alternative when times like these and I'm unable to use the grease. I'm just gonna oil the back of my hair. That feels nice. Okay, so let me just quickly talk about the gel. As I said, it feels nice on my hair. The scent is nice. It's not overpowering at all. It's not overpowering in a jar. It's very um, florally and a bit like a perfume scent, but once on the hair, it's not strong at all. Now, I like the fact that Eco have used, you know, they continuously come out with gels and obviously they've got to get their gels to sell. So they've used a USP, i.e. a unique selling point, keratin growth factor, and have given you scientifically proven uh, evidence that it grows your hair. Now, to be honest, this is a way I believe, not I believe, this is a way that they keep you buying their product because hair grows slowly. So therefore, or hair grows what about six to eight inches a year so you know to see growth and see that the product's working you're going to need to continuously buy it and i see what they're doing and it's okay i don't mind i mean if i like a product i like a product now if i see that it's helping my hair then i'll i'll buy it i know i know what you're getting at eco but i'll buy it okay <laughs> but the end result the final verdict is once my hair is fully dried so i'm going to go and let this air dry the back is starting to dry and i don't feel like i'm going to get a crunch I'm not going to speak too soon, but from what I can feel, it just feels really moisturized. Once you crunch out the cast, it's fine. But I don't think I'm going to get that with this one. We'll see. Anyway, I'll be back once my hair is dried and with the final verdict. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, so I've got full and bouncy here now. Right, but once you crunch out the cast, it's fine. But I don't think I'm going to get that with this one. But initially, I was really excited about this gel. And I'm not, still not excited about it, but it's just, the hold was a bit too much for my hair. So I will say, if you use this gel, guys, do put a leave-in underneath. I don't usually have to put a leave-in with my gels, um, but this one's cast was like cement. <laughs> so I definitely would recommend to put a leave-in in before you put apply the gel. Um, I tried to crunch the cast out, smooth it out, this is like what well, this is the next day in the evening so it's still at the root slightly slightly crunchy or slightly firm hold but i did smooth a lot of a lot of my sunny isle castor oil pomade the lavender one over my hair and i also put some jamaican black castor oil on it just to just to give it some shine actually it's got nice shine but to give it a bit more softness and volume because i find when my hair is just stiff it just looks kind of twiggy and it's not the look I'm going for. 
Yes. But yeah, these are the end results. I definitely will use it again, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna apply it how I've done it. I'm not gonna shingle it. I think that's a bit too much from my hair and I wanna maintain my hair and keep it rather than you know break it down and thin it. So I'm going to apply it next time in sections, maybe with the praying hand method, maybe just in four sections and see how that goes. So if you want to see another one, if you want to see me apply it in sections rather than shingle and see those results and with a leave-in, I can do that too because I do want to use this gel again. But anyway guys, that is it. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you've tried this gel and if you have got any more questions for my part two of my question video, still leave them down below in the comment section. Go ahead, guys. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.